This past decade, we saw some of the most creative, wacky, and absolutely insane plays. Here are our top plays of the decade. We start off the countdown with NHL hockey at number nine as team captain Shane Doan scores a hat trick at the buzzer as the Yotes went on to shut out the New York Islanders. It out. Whitney over the line, drops it, Doan takes a shot, he, he, did, it. he, he did it, he did it, Shane Doan! He got it! <laughs> How do you put it on an option? At number eight, we go to arena football as Arizona Rattlers wide receiver Trandon Harvey receives the kick return and he's loose and he could go all the way. 68 yards for the touchdown. Rattlers would later beat the Voodoo 61 to 47. Coming in at number seven is from the NHL Western Finals as Derek Morris for the Yotes pulls off a goal that not even Jonathan Quick saw coming. No doubt, there's no doubt in LA. Oh, the center ice! Despite that amazing goal by Morris, LA would end up winning that game and the series. Following a blocked field goal earlier in the game by ASU against U of A, they would end up doing the same thing at the best time they needed it in double overtime. Defend is the front line. Now Zendayas missed one of these, had it blocked earlier. That's why we're in overtime for the tie. Block again, but it does not go through. Arizona State wins it. At number five, we go to Chase Field, D-backs versus Dodgers in extra innings. We'll just let this one speak for itself. Ryan Roberts drives in deep left field. Incredible! The Diamondbacks win it! Are you watching Milwaukee? This grand slam by Ryan Roberts and the D-backs would end up making it the best ending to a baseball game ever played at Chase Field. Blitz coming, Matthews, Palmer stepping away at first, Palmer extending the play, there. crosses the field, Larry Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald is going to take it into Green Bay territory, Larry Fitzgerald inside the 30, the 20, if he Larry scores, Fitzgerald it's over. is insane to the four yard line. This may not be a scoring play at number four, but this play by Larry Fitzgerald was probably one of his best runs ever in his NFL career and would end up giving the Cardinals the win just one play later. Little flip to Fitzgerald, he scores! And the Cardinals win an amazing game. At number three, we go to LA Memorial Coliseum for college football as Sun Devil quarterback Mike Berkovici, who came in the 2014 season as a backup for injured QB Taylor Kelly, would end up pulling off his best game yet in just only his second time in the starting position. Berkovici sets, loads up, beating one deep, and it is caught! Dylan Strong! Do you believe it? Arizona State wins on a Hail Mary! At number two, it's the MLB wildcard game as Archie Bradley at bat for the D-backs against the Rockies, and then this happens. Here's Nishik's pitch, and Archie shot to left center field. That's going to gap it all the way to the wall. Two runs are going to score. Archie's in the second. He's not going to stop. Here he comes to third. He slides in safely with a triple. Archie Bradley, 8-5 D-backs. This two-run triple by Bradley would end up being the first triple by a reliever in the postseason. The D-backs beat the Rockies that night 11-8 to advance to the next round. And at our number one play, you might want to watch closely at the puck in this moment of the 2012 NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. Stop. They get their top line out. Hansel, Whitney, and Verbata. Here's a chance. They score! Done once again in overtime. 
Did you see that? That impressive goal by Ray Whitney and the assist by Martin Hansel would give the Coyotes their fourth overtime win in the playoffs and takes our number one spot as the top play of the decade.